Thanks for visiting the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Hey folks, Dan Ryan here uh, with my brother Leo. Today we are looking at this Harley Benton uh, HBTE 30 BE uh, Tele copy. And uh, let's see what we got. Well, not too much tape, that's always a good sign. Some case candy. It looks like there's a trim arm and a cord. I'm sure there's a Allen wrench in here somewhere. Looks like it's right there. So, looks like it for the case candy. Oh, here's a here's a new wrinkle. Instead of that foam, we get bubble wrap. Mm. Looks like we get it both. <laughs> is that is that tissue paper? I'm not sure. <laughs> Grab it from the bottom. Well, I'm trying. That's tissue paper. What do you know? That's a first. Yep. And, uh, get some of this uh, wonderful. Uh, Patrick's favorite snack. Silica gel. <laughs> well, it's a good thing they put all of those on there because I bought this guitar about a year ago or so. Uh, so, so long ago that the price has gone up by $22. Yeah, put plenty in on this one. I don't know what the rationale behind that was. Okay. So not bad. Not too bad. So here we have. It's just the quality control label. So it's got a standard set of Tele looking pickups. These, these are Harley Benton uh, Tele pickups, according to the description on the Toman website. It's got the Perloid uh, pick guard. It's white, 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 white. It's an ash body, maple neck, maple fingerboard, just very simple black dots marking the fingerboard. A very nice finish on the, on the back of the neck. It's, this would be my preferred finish on any neck pretty much. It's, uh, it's not too high gloss, but it's not like just uh, uh, no finish at all. Not splinters. Yeah. <laughs> uh, three position switch. I don't see any scuffs or dings or scratches on the finish. And it was obviously uh, packaged pretty well. Looks good. Uh, no name tuners. It just says QC passed, the label here. And it does say Harley Benton. Harley Benton what? Standard series. So, I, 
the standard series, I would assume, is their kind of their budget series. Um, it was the cheapest telly they had. And it was $99? It was $77 when I bought it, but it is now $99. Okay. But uh, I bought this because it just doesn't make sense to buy one guitar from Harley Benton, and I bought that bass yeah. that uh, Mike McLean did, uh, the PJ5 bass. And uh, so I just had to stick something in there. And we've had so many guitars come through here. This is probably a year-old guitar that... Uh, has been sitting here at the bottom of the stack that I decided to drag it out and put it up here because guess what? Everything else is a strat. <laughs> okay. But you didn't let me guess. Uh, guess what? Uh, is everything else a strat? I don't know. I said guess what? What do you want to guess? <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> you know, earlier today when you said you don't make any sense anymore? Yes, I do. You, I, you were absolutely right about that. Thank you. Uh, it's got the ashtray kind of a bridge, and there's uh, two strings on each one of these uh, elements on the bridge. There. Oh, it's got the barrel barrels. Yeah. So it's three three uh, bridge saddles. Yeah. And so, it's a top loader, right? Uh, appears to be yes. Yeah. So there's a screw here and then one string on either side of each screw for th these three bridge cells, um, which isn't, is, isn't the, the most uh, configurable uh, design, but, you know, but it's a workable design and it's, you know, plenty of guitars have this. So um, the frets... They have a kind of gold tone appearance. Uh, I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just... Can you see that? Yeah, I can see that. Uh -huh. uh, how about uh, try to bend a string and see if they're rough or... It might be just tarnished. Well... There's a year old... Yeah, I'll do that in a while. But uh, And uh, it says this comes with nines. You know, the, the east, high E's and nine. Okay. Um... So, you know, we'll give it, you know, we'll tune it up and give it a chance to, you know, there's no po point in playing it now. There's, you're not going to learn much from that. Um, you know, it's just a basic guitar. Is that a nick in the fretboard around the fifth fret on the top? No, that's just a uh, styrofoam. Okay. Yeah, go on. Um, well, that's good. And you don't have, there's no uh, skunk stripes in this fretboard. And this actually is maple. So it's a, it's a real wood. It's not a techn technological wood. And uh, the neck itself is very nice. Uh, it has, you know, it has some okay grain in it. Uh, not that anybody's going to or, you know. Uh, you're not going to see that very often. So. Only the guitarist. Yeah. And even then. Okay, so there you have it. The HBTE30BE, I believe is what all the numbers are. Yep. We're going to stop now and uh, tune it up and put it through its paces. We'll be right back. Thanks. Hey folks, uh, Dan Ryan back here with this Harley Benton HBTE 30BE uh, telecopy in white, white, white uh, that Leo got for $99. It's now $77. Oh, sorry. $77 plus 30 something. No, plus 70 something dollars shipping. If you were to buy it by itself. Yeah, but you got two guitars. So yeah, but you have to buy two to get, to get that price. But then you end up with thirty seven fifty shipping or whatever it's called. Right, but if, if one of our subscribers was to buy it, they wouldn't get that unless they bought two guitars. Yes. So. Uh, and now we're right back where we started. Right. Is, so, uh, if they're not entirely confused, I'll run through it one time. It cost $77 when I bought it. It's now $99. 
the shipping is $72. So unless you buy two guitars, it's going to cost you $171.99 plus tax. Okay. Uh, there you have it. Um, so there is a little audible hum, but you know, for for a telly, it's really not much at all. And it goes away as soon as you ground uh, the guitar with your hand on the strings. So uh, with no further ado, here's the uh, neck pickup. <laughs> Plays nice. Uh, the action is uh, pretty well set up. Uh, it doesn't have the rounded frets, but the, but it has a very nice fret job. Uh, like most guitars, you start getting a, some sharp edges just here, you know, at the top of the neck. But down here, everything is very well uh, finished. Um, it's just uh, seventy-seven dollars. That's just. Um, this would be. This is a gig, totally gigable guitar. Um, so, um, I don't know if anybody's noticed, but I've I've been because I read a lot about guitar players and guitar and stuff. Uh, a lot of very famous guitarists are now using like Squire Strats and. Uh, uh, Line six spider amps on the road, you know. So their whole rig is worth less than a thousand dollars a lot of times, uh, and they're perfectly happy with with their choices. Uh, Mike Rutherford from Mike and the Mechanics and Genesis is doing that. Uh, Steve Howell from Yes is doing that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that they only use those guitars, but. Uh, um, like uh, we've we've demonstrated a couple of very axes on this channel before, and like say if you're going out uh, with yes, because they they have all kinds of guitar sounds on just one song. Like on roundabout, you might have a twelve string, a, a acoustic, you know, uh, uh, electric. So it's a lot easier to just set that up on your pedal and just play one guitar and not have to. I mean, when I went to CES, you know, back in the 70s, uh, mm -hmm. Steve Howe actually had guitars up on racks, like a, a mic stand with a, a rack that held a guitar that was the right height for him. So at a certain part of the song, he'd have to just let the one around his neck go and go play this guitar for a little while and go back to the other one. Uh, so it's, you know, it's a lot easier to just use one guitar and have it turn into the guitar that you want. So um, that's just as an aside, but uh, all of our subscribers who, uh, who uh, 
like to say that you can get just as much guitar for not much money if you shop around. Uh, there is more and more evidence that that is, uh, can be true. I won't say that it's always true, you know, because you know, we, we've reviewed some pretty junk guitars here too. But uh, 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 this guitar, you know, for less than $100, it's just almost unbelievable what, what a nice guitar it is. So there you have it, the Harleyman HBE 20 BE or H. HBTE. Uh, HBTE. 30. 30 BE. I told you your mind was going. Because <laughs> yeah, I can't remember a bunch of random numbers but, and letters. Uh, in, uh, in honesty, I said our minds are going. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and uh, if I hadn't. Uh, advertised it so much, I might be using that for my new password. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, anyway, very nice guitar. I wish I had more to say about it, but I mean, uh, there, there's really nothing wrong with this guitar at all. And it's very, very nice and heavy. I mean, this, this is actually heavier than most tellies I've played, I think. Uh, so, we're going to stop one more time and pick something to play for you, and we'll be right back. Hey folks, we're uh, today we're looking at this Michael Kelly HB... Michael Kelly? I'm sorry. <laughs> Leo was talking about a guitar behind me. It's Harley Benton HBTE BE30. No. HBTE30 BE. Oh, okay. And I don't know what BE means. Uh, well, of course, BM could be beats me, but I don't know. <laughs> it could be or, bowel movement too, yeah. but you know. Yeah, I was but trying, it's not. It's was, actually a. I was trying not to say that. Not bowel movement telly. <laughs> so far. Uh, so you've been wondering why we've, we've been losing subscribers? This kind of thing. <laughs> okay, right. so uh, we were looking for a, a properly telly uh, backing track to play. So this is from the Jam Tracks channel, and it's the Country Train Beat Guitar Backing Track in A. And um, it's, there's not a lot to it quarterly, but it's 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 a telly kind of kind of track. So. Here we go, let's see what we get. folks, Dan Ryan. Today we are looking at this Harley Benton HBTE 30 BE. I think that's right. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Otherwise I would have interrupted you and told you how wrong you were. Uh, well, uh, thank goodness that didn't happen. Yeah, because uh, you could have said it was a Michael Kelly or something. Yeah. Like you did the first time we started this. But that's okay. That didn't stop me. What stopped me was you got a call. So. No, what stopped me is the track. What well, stopped the track? Uh, but hey, I'm going to include that as a blooper at the end. <laughs> all right, as long as you credit Mike McLean for screwing up our track, then that's fine. Uh, <laughs> oh, I I have a feeling I may have done the same thing to him the other day because he texted me back when I called him. What do you want? <laughs> okay. All right, well, uh, in honor of this being a telly and a telly being a kind of a country kind of guitar, there are some incredible telly players. What country is it, Dan? Well, uh, you jerk a stand. <laughs> you jerk a stand. I like that. <laughs> 
This is uh, from Jam Track Channel, and it is the Country Train Beat Guitar Backing Track in A. And before Leo says any more stuff, so here we go. <laughs>
different kinds of music. You Turkestan and Western. <laughs> it's a country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does one say? I really don't know. For those of you tuning in for the humor, uh, we may have outdone ourselves today. At least one of us may have outdone ourselves today. Anyway, there we have it. It's the uh, Harley Benton HBTE uh, 30BE uh, telecopy. Lucidity occurs occasionally. <laughs> yeah. Only occasionally. So a very nice guitar. Uh, still, I would say just a totally giggable guitar for uh, way under a hundred bucks. A little more, about around one fifty if you bought it now, I guess, uh, including the shipping. But uh, don't let that stop you if you want to tell you this is a really nice tell. You. So uh, I'm Dan Ryan. Leo Ryan is behind the camera, thank goodness, and uh, uh, we hope that you will like and subscribe. Whether or not YouTube counts your subscription, well, <laughs> give it a try. Well, you know, you know what the hell, uh, and uh, click the bell icon to be reminded of our future videos. And uh, I think that's about it for this time. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.